<clears throat> this is a um, setup that I have for the building of a radiator uh, for the Sea Lion ET Westbury Sea Lion uh, gas engine, and um, the radiator is a copy of Jerry Howell's. Um, I managed to get some photos off of the uh, internet and um, I'm uh, uh, going to produce a radiator uh, that is uh, hopefully as, uh, as close uh, to exact as his one. These are the bars, brass bars that I'm using. They're half, half inch square. Um, there's uh, eight cores in the radiator and um, uh, uh, they set in uh, a, uh, a framework to uh, place in front of the engine um, and uh, uh, allow for cooling. Um, uh, this is the setup on the lathe that I have, it's a take lathe. Um, and uh, as you can see here, hopefully, uh, this is a, uh, a dead center that I have in the headstock and I have a revolving center at this end. Um, I've previously uh, uh, trued up the square and uh, put centers in each end. Where are we? Yeah, centers there in each end of the bar. And um, what I did was, um, because I wanted to use the three-jaw chuck uh, for ease of uh, clamping, um, I made up a, a, a bush with a square hole in it and uh, it's made in two parts. Um, the, where are we? Ah, oh, here. Um, as you can see it's made in two parts. Um, just a little slug in the in one end and uh, I slide the I slide the bar in through there and then I place the bar in between the two centers like so and just tighten them tighten it up and then I slide the I move the bar around until one jaw is on the on the uh, insert on the square bush um, and um, and then I just tighten up and that uh, helps to drive it um, instead of a instead of a uh, um, carrier uh, uh, so um, once I've got that, that going, I've got my dials all set ready and what I do is I, I turn the cross slide in and, and touch the face and, and then below I have a stop that slides on a dovetail bar and it has a um, one inch micrometer set in the bar, in the block and so what I do is I um, I zero this to zero and then I place the tool bit up against that face and slide the the stop up and just tighten it then I I wound I wind up out on the micrometer uh, 0 0.120 I'm just going to move the machine the camera around so that I can get in there a little bit better and okay so then um, once I've wound the micrometer 
That's one, two, three, four, five. One eighth. And then I just turn it back five thou just for the last facing cut. Um, I have the uh, I have the machine running at um, 900 and 1000 RPM so then um, I just touch on and start a cut so I go down not a bad cut. Um, I don't know how much I just turn the handle. Maybe half a turn. The the brass is quite expensive, so I don't really want to take a big hogging cut uh, because if I scrap it, um, it's just going to cost me. And not only that. Um, on this bar, I have to put a parting tool in that's 40 thou wide, and uh, I have to cut 60 fins in each bar from the top to the bottom, and uh, that's a lot of work. And um, so I'm I'm kind of being a bit on the careful side. I hope you can see that. Just uh, I'm using the new tail stock. It's working very well. It's nice and solid now. Be uh, uh, through development, I've I've finally got it kind of working pretty good. Now I have the, I'm getting down to the uh, size now, getting close to it, so uh, I'll come round to zero and take a cut and then I wind the stop on 5 thou and at that setting just take another facing cut. So, then I wind it back and go in again until I'm at my setting of zero and then I wind the micrometer back 40 thou. So that's 25. 30, 35, 40 thou and then I go past the zero uh, 13 thou and that should be the finish on this end and I think that's pretty good so I have eight of these to do so um, it's going to take a while. I wind the cross slide out and um, undo the chuck. Just slacken it off. Undo that and take the part out and there is the final, the final machine. That's the first stage. I've got the other end to do, but I'll do that right at the very end uh, after I've cut most of the fins. Um, there's also uh, a, a 532 hole has to be drilled down through the centre right the way through from both ends. Uh, that's for the for the water to travel 
through. So I'll just take take this off. Kah. <laughs> it's tight. Come on. There we go. So that's that's one end finished. At one end, and then the next operation, once I've done all eight, will be uh, making the fins, machining the fins. Okay.